Shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about how a dream wedding for a woman does not profit nor benefit the man. It doesn't even ensure marital success. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. If you are a man out here, I want you to listen to this advice. Listen to this advice. There is nothing wrong with having a wedding. There's nothing wrong with it. You have a lot of marriages that survive you know, and never have worried about divorce. And these people have never had a wedding. Statistically, the more that is spent on a wedding, the higher chance of divorce. Listen to what I'm saying. You are a man and you're saying, man, I found the girl of my dreams, the woman of my dreams. I want to give her everything she asked for. Listen to what I'm saying. You are setting yourself up for the okie doke. Setting yourself up for the worst possible chance at marriage. When you think about when people have dreams, they have dreams in their sleep. And I'll tell you to wake up. To wake up. You are asleep. You are in a, 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 a tranced state. Your cognitive function, you know, is not what it needs to be. And based upon that, you are going to make some foolish decisions based upon being sleep, following your dreams, okay? A woman says, man, this is my dream wedding. I've always dreamed of this. Again, wake up. See, the onus is on the onus is gonna be on you as a man. The burden of responsibility is gonna be on you as a man. And I'll tell you this, man, with how vain you know a lot of women are, they're focused on wedding rings, they're focused on this elaborate wedding, dream wedding, you know, the wedding rings in which none of that is biblical. And here you are as a man, uh, you know, getting ready to stake out 20,000, you know, 20 or $30,000 for a dream wedding. You know, Disney has done a bad job, you know, portraying the marital responsibilities of a woman and a man. This is where all that fairy tale and fantasy stuff comes from. And a lot of women have been corrupted by this at an early age. And I will tell you as a man, you need to be dead set. There ain't no, we're gonna, we're gonna, there ain't no, we're, I'm, I'm gonna meet, meet her in the middle. She want a $50,000 wedding. I want a $10,000 wedding. And, and we gonna meet in the middle at 25,000. No, heck no, 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 player, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. I told you statistically, the chances go up the more you spend on a wedding. Man, there's no need to have all of these people that you really don't know. There's no need for women that she really ain't friends with coming and doing all of this. Not There ain't no need for that. See, you open yourself up. Once a woman and her friends know that you're willing to dish out money or even finance, a lot of people financing dream weddings. This is when they know they got you by the balls and they gonna, they gonna get all the squeeze they can get. You know, I would tell you as a man, if you're dealing with a woman, woman of your dreams, 
and you were like, we're not having that kind of wedding. We're having a simple venue, simple wedding. And she says, anything other than, okay, walk. Take your opportunity elsewhere. Because let me tell you what happened. You don't want some doggone woman acting like a spoiled brat and you're spending money that you really, you know, you like, man, I really don't even want to be spending this money. But because of her, you know, I, I think she's worth it, but it ain't good enough for her. And I want you to think, man, a lot of these women that want this fairy tale wedding, this dream, don't have a pot to piss in or don't want to contribute to the doggone uh, the process and put the onus on you. Well, you the man, well, you handle it. Well, you pay for it, you know? And you'll be sitting up here thinking you've done good and she gonna be sitting up there with the poop face. And this is why I'm telling you, if you get any pushback, any fight back, walk, walk. Okay, let me give you another example. If you were to get her a ring and you get her what you think is reasonable, you the one buying it. You get any pushback, walk. There's somebody else out there that will appreciate it. And watch. She'll continue to go on. Hopefully she learns. But if she doesn't, she'll continue to go on with that spoiled brat mentality. And she won't never get selected. Listen to what I'm saying. See, statistics help us make informed decisions uh, about what the future looks like. And when you think about that, let me show you how this plays in. The more you spend on a wedding, the higher the chances for divorce are. Over 50% of marriages end in divorce. Out of those divorces filed, 70% of them are filed by women. The number jumps up to 90% filed by women when they're college educated women. So when she says, you know, I can't have a simple wedding, I'm a college graduate, I'm like, walk, 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 walk. Listen to me, you are dealing with a woman that doesn't know what it means to be a wife. Being a wife is not about vanity. A lot of these women only want these dream weddings, these elaborate weddings. Oh, you know, it's just it such a moment and oh, you know, they want these dream and elaborate weddings for the optics. Oftentimes they want it so it can make headlines. They want it to make other women jealous. Women are very competitive. You know, there's always gonna be uh, one of these spoiled brats that, you know, the woman getting married will invite and one of the, her friends is gonna have a mental breakdown because she don't have no man and she wish somebody would do this for her. And I'm telling you, you're sitting up there, not even know, boy, you're getting played like a fool. You're getting played like a fool. Look at, I want you to go back and look at just some celebrities that have the money to spend on weddings, on elaborate weddings, and look at what it got them. Just go back and look it up. Look at what it got them. Money down the drain. There's nothing wrong with uh, doing a, a, a backyard wedding. See, a lot of women get focused on, you know, uh, the optics and the flowers and the food and the cake and all of that. But all of that don't amount to dung. Don't amount to uh, uh, doggy doo doo. If ain't nobody really trying to keep them vows. You know? All of that don't amount to nothing. And when you sitting up saying for better or for worse, and then they mind is like, well, I'm only here for better. Till death do us part. No, no, no. Some people have it in their mind. It's just like, I'm telling you, don't waste your time as a man fooling with a woman that wants a dream wedding. She is asleep. She's letting you know she's asleep. Men, you got to wake up. You got to operate in, in reality. You got to think you can spend this money and she's going to up the ante of her very vain, materialistic expectations of you. And you're gonna be wondering, why isn't anything I do good enough? Why does she have this spoiled brat 
mentality. You allowed her to have it. You didn't stand 10 toes down and say, hey, we're not doing that. And if she gives you any lip back, well, hey, that's it. Take your opportunity elsewhere. Take it elsewhere. You're not obligated to marry these ungrateful women. You don't never think you are obligated to marry an ungrateful woman. Well, we just wasted so much time. Glenn. Walk, walk, leave her there standing. I'm just trying to figure out and just, I just want you to communicate with me. Why, why? Walk, walk. I'm telling you, start the clock off, start the time off with somebody brand new. That ungrateful, spoiled brat mentality, that fairy tale fantasy mentality that she has, I'm a queen and, and all of this, it started very young. You're not gonna be able to change that. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.